Okay, so here we have our 2014 Range Rover full-size supercharged. So we're gonna do a nice walk around video of this, um, highlight any of the flawed areas, some of which you already know about, but we'll just go over this whole thing so you can get a nice uh, close look at it. So we're gonna start here from the driver door and work our way around the front and then the back. So, driver door looks really good. There's a tiny, oh, nope, that's just dirt. All right, see, clean. Just washed it, so. Going down that looks good. Front quarter panel looks really good. Front wheel looks nice, no curb rash. Good tire on there. Working our way around the front. Front bumper looks like it's in really good shape. A couple of really tiny nicks. Um, you know, typical rock chips to kind of be expected, honestly, with a seven-year-old or eight-year-old vehicle uh, with almost 90K on it. But headlights in really good shape. They're not super pitted or fogged out or anything. Front grille looks really nice. There's a little bit of discoloration on the lettering of the Range Rover here. That's actually a fairly common thing that can happen. Sorry about the dirt there. But, uh, yeah, so that's that's something that can happen to those. The nice thing is those letters are really easy to replace. Uh, a little bit of a heat gun and floss, and those come right out. And then you can uh, replace with new ones if you want. You can even do black ones, chrome ones, whatever color you want. Um, lower portion of the bumper does need a little bit of paint, so I think we may end up painting this whole front bumper. I know you and Jason talked about it briefly, but so it's got that area in that area there but again I think we are gonna be painting it because we don't just paint a spot we end up usually painting the whole uh, body piece so all this other little stuff in the front will get touched up as well coming around the passenger side wheel looks really good uh, no curb rash good tire coming up the quarter panel that looks great uh, hood by the way looks super clean Nothing stands out there. Windshield is in really good shape. There is one small uh, rock chip crack there. Uh, I'm not sure if it's been filled yet or not, but it is something that can be filled. But it's nothing that's growing, so not a huge concern, but definitely needed to point that out. Going down the passenger side here, it all looks really nice. There's no door dings or scratches. A little bit of a scuff right here along the bottom rocker panel. I mean, it's hardly noticeable, but it's there. Um, back wheel's in really great shape. That looks awesome. Um, all of the black along the sides looks really good here too. And then coming around the back side. So you've got a tiny bit of that discoloration. Um, same thing what happens with the lettering on the front. Around the back side, tail lights both work and look great. Um, along the back, it's all super clean. Back here, there's no uh, damage or any issues really to speak of. Uh, lettering looks pretty good overall, but just a couple of small spots of that. Uh, discoloration. I think it's oxidation, honestly, but not 100% sure how that happens. But either way, looks really good. Um, one thing to note here, so this top area is peeling a bit. Um, so that rubber coating across the top, kind of in on the, the edges on each side is peeling. Um, the rest of the roof, however, is in really great shape. So that all looks really nice. And then we'll finish up our exterior here, coming around the driver's side rear. Quarter panel looks really nice. Back wheel in great shape. Uh, back door looks really good also. Um, again, a couple of really small nicks right there on the lower quarter panel. Um, but nothing that stands out much. So now we'll go into the interior for a quick peek. So you've got the black on black interior with the Meridian sound system, uh, piano black inserts, beautiful interior. The seat is in uh, really good condition. A little bit of scuffing right here just on the 
um, plastic portion of it, but overall the seat has no rips or tears or anything in the leather. Got your armrests, center console area, just needs a little wipe down honestly, a little dusty, but uh, everything works in here. There's all your climate, there's your screen. Panorama roof. Passenger seat looks good. Also has the ambient lighting. That's a cool touch. Back seat. So back looks great as well. Here's the door. A little tiny bit of a scuff right there. But it's in the back door, so nobody sees that as much, you know? And good looking seats. Headliner is in great shape all around. Rear climate control. Rear heated seats. It's just missing one of those little inserts, little 12 volt. Just missing one of those from that side there. Not too big of a deal though, it's easy to replace. You do have the soft closed doors, I love that feature. They close themselves. And then finally, we'll get a peek in the back. Another awesome feature I love about these is the split tailgate. So you've got that back here. Full size spare. Okay. And then uh, cargo cover as well. Oh, that's kind of interesting. Hmm. So there we are. That's a good look at everything. Overall, it's an awesome rig, really good shape, and uh, for the price, you can't beat it.